What's up, everybody? It's Zach and Carly. Uh, this is a video from my second trip to China over the summer. It's a little bit late, but this was shot in, oh, I want to say September of 2012. So, yeah, this is in uh, Zhaoshan, China, which is in the south. In front of me, you can see some of the other Team USA. There's Mike Nestel on the left and Dion uh, just out of the frame now. And then there's uh, Sean and Johnny up ahead of them. So I'll be narrating through some of these clips. This is the contest area that we were doing. You can see some of the equipment. You can also see the rain that was going on. This is the actual day of the contest. It was pretty rough, but it was still... You know, an incredible experience to get to fly halfway across the planet to do what you love. So, I mean, it's hard to beat that. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Ni hao. Ni hao. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you that don't know, Ni hao is hello in Chinese. We had a lot of fun trying to speak a little bit of Chinese while we were there. But this is day two. Um, you saw the field of competition probably about an hour before the contest started. And then this was just a little bit of the crowd that was watching us. This was probably 15 minutes before. <laughs> The contest so yeah the second day was a lot better if you notice the ground was all dry and um, bigger crowd showed up the clouds parted and yeah it was just a, it was a great overall contest between China and America and lots of fun there's dragon being crazy about to get in trouble from a judge <laughs> Now I've jumped to after the contest with some extra footage of Sean and Johnny and Mike and you know all the guys kind of posing for a lot of media pictures and you know there's a lot of fans over there of the sports in general so I got a bunch of the next couple video clips you'll see are of you know just fans coming up and wanting to take pictures with us and you know all the other competitors so yeah enjoy. Uh, a lot of help and uh, a new uh, travel and do the action uh, very good and so uh, the Jack is so excellent <laughs> I love Jack we are brother <laughs> thank you <laughs> you're very good dragon <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
How do you say winner? How do you say winner? Uh, uh, 胜利。胜利。你赢了。你看你赢了。啊？你赢了。你赢了。Yeah. 你赢了。很好，很好。Thank you, thank you, thank you. For you to record this for me? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's already, uh, it's already uh, recording. Don't press anything. Oh, okay. Just point. Okay. So when I go up, I'll oh, get Oh, okay. Video. Thank you. What was it? Is that the other
This is actually the uh, complex that we ate at. We drive here or walk here three times a day. Apparently, this is an old temple. And if you look right, well, I'm going to be looking up. There's actually three stories. Uh, one of the athletes was telling me that in this temple, the reason that there was such a small walkway in and there were three stories like that is to defend the temples in the feudal times. Um, archers would line up on all three of those levels and they would just shower arrows down into that <clears throat> into that one single opening to the complex so oh yeah delicious fish on the rocks do we walked on these yesterday uh. all the way around of the ride to an island called Utushan, which is the, uh, the island that houses the temple of the Buddha of Mercy, which uh, supposedly protects southern China from all monsoons and things of that nature. Some video from the long path on the island of Utushan all the way up to the temple. It was really interesting. There was a you know, it's a pretty decent walk now that I think of it. Probably a couple miles that we walked to there. But it was really cool. A lot of awesome views like this video clip. And this is the entrance to the actual temple portion of the island. got to this, uh, this opening <laughs> and they're videoing us and we're videoing them. It was a lot of fun. But uh, this this statue is huge. I mean over over a hundred feet tall easily and it's just a just a trip, you know, it's a it, it was just so massive. It was really cool to see so many people kinda coming together for something so peaceful and there were monks everywhere, you know, maintaining the temple, so very cool. Very peaceful, very neat.
Sometimes this is pretty wild. We actually ran into some of the other Chinese competitors uh, at the temple. This is JJ, one of the, I want to say he took third actually overall in the contest. It was really cool. And then on my right, I took a picture with another one of the competitors. But <clears throat> you know, awesome camaraderie in the sport in general, and that's that's spreading over to China too. Everybody's really cool, even though we were, you know, it was a fierce competition. Um, you know, everybody was really friendly. Everybody was really cordial. So it was excellent. You know, it's great to see that between athletes. This right here was wild. So this path is easily, you know, from start to finish two miles. We didn't even, we, we jumped on the path, um, you know, not, not, a, not even at the beginning. And it took us quite a while to walk it. This is a monk um, making a pilgrimage all the way to the statue of the Buddha of Mercy to uh, give a donation. And if you can see the guy on the left right there, he's actually... Um, you know, donating some money for his for the monk's donation. So it was they got arrested. pretty crazy. Was, uh, Basically, doing you know several miles of burpee. <laughs> and there's gonna be a, there's a few clips of just some really beautiful scenery on the way back on the walk back. Here's another one of my favorite clips from China. This is 
a view out of the hotel room that we were at. Uh, me and Sean shared a room, but this was at about midnight. And if you listen carefully, when I stopped talking, there's music, and there were people in this in this square. That's where the anchor was with the fish and with the photo of the you know Team America. But there are people dancing in the square at midnight, and I asked the people there, and they said that it was just like their daily exercises. So it was really interesting. So I'll shut up so you can hear the music. That last clip was uh, Mike Mestel eating some escargot, and then these next two clips will be of uh, us in a bar that we were just kind of hanging out in. Um, they had live performances, which was pretty cool, like, like people literally singing on miniature stages that were about, you know, two or three square feet, so <laughs> it was, uh, you know, it was pretty neat. So I'll leave you with a, a couple clips of just cruising around in China. Um, it's interesting over there. There's not nearly as many, you know, traffic laws, I suppose. So at this intersection that we're at right now, there was, you know, there were zero stop signs, zero lights, just people kind of go for it. So <laughs> it was a little bit scary, but you got used to it before you left. So uh, a lot of fun regardless, you know, just a new experience. It was great.